Hi, I'm Danny Gasparini, and welcome to this segment of Penn Voice. I am joined today by Liz Rosinski, who is with the Harvest Festival, and also by Dan Hanley, who is with the Peninsula Humane Society and SBCA. Thanks, Dan and Liz, for joining us. Thank you. So, um, Liz, we have you uh, on the program on an annual basis mm -hmm. to talk about the Harvest Festival. So, it must be fall. It is. Because yeah. we're here talking with you about the Harvest Festival that's coming up November 11th through the 13th. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about the Harvest Festival and what we can expect. So the Harvest Festival, like you said, it's coming back uh, November 11th through the 13th at the Event Center. Um, it's the West Coast's largest indoor arts and craft show. We've got over 24,000 different products, uh, hundreds of artists, entrepreneurs, craftspeople. Right. So uh, it's a great way for people to come down and shop, support their community, uh, find things that are uh, handmade that they're not going to find in any mall or big box store. So that's one of the uni unique things about our show is that everything has to be handmade in America. It's juried in, so there's a really nice quality to the right. items there. Um, and I think what you touched on before, what makes the Harvest Festival so unique, is you always choose a community partner. And we're going to get to Dan in just a few minutes and talk about the Peninsula Humane Society and SPCA, but that's who you've chosen as this year's community partner to donate proceeds. And I know we're going to get into that in a little bit, but just as the artisans are so unique and, mm -hmm. and how that whole flavor of buying local and um, seeing crafts and, and gifts that have been made locally. I also love the fact that you're supporting the community in such a great way. Yeah, we, you know, I think it's it's important. The Harvest Festival, um, we have nine shows all over California uh, and in Nevada, and we really believe that in each community we're in, we need to reach out to the community members. So, for example, we're also working with the San Mateo Chamber of Commerce. We're mm -hmm. doing a, a multi-city chamber mixer with chambers from across the peninsula. Right. Uh, we're working with the Downtown San Mateo Association. Caltrain has also been a big supporter of us. So. Um, you know, we, we want to get out there and get a grassroots feel and let people know we're, we're part of the community. Right. And I think you, you have to work with the partners like Caltrain because you've become such a huge success that <laughs> right. you, there's no longer enough parking That's for right. everyone that you need That's to right. train them in. Exactly. Right, which exactly. the Caltrain stop is right there, so Super right in easy. front of the yep. convention center. So it's a wonderful little trip for kids to get on a, on a train and um, head down and Yep, there's bus and visit. several buses that go right there there so it's super easy for people to just right. come on in. So um, we know about the typical harvest festivals where we have the artisans and the crafts and the things that you can purchase but there's so much more with regard to entertainment and kids zones. Tell us yeah. a little bit about that. So we have um, it's really a full day of fun and we have uh, live entertainment live music. This year we've got a comedic juggling duo. They ride unicycles and they throw knives, it's really exciting. Um, uh, we've got a Cajun band that has some really great fiddling, um, strolling performers. Uh, some of the artists actually will do demonstrations, maybe they're jewelry makers and they'll be doing it inside their booths. Um, there's each day we have a prize giveaway, people. And all of this is listed, um, the day of activities are all listed on your website. So if mm -hmm. somebody wanted to look for something in particular, they can run onto your website and say, oh, this is that band I wanted to see, or this is that one demonstration I wanted to see. Exactly, Yeah. exactly, yeah, it's, it's all on our website. And we also have a, a $2 off coupon that people can print and bring uh, to the show to right. get money off, off their ticket, so. Um, yeah. And, and you had said in the beginning um, that it was, the Harvest Festival was sort of brought to the, this community 44 years ago? 44 years ago. So obviously that was probably a time that you don't remember <laughs> 44 <laughs> years ago, but give us kind of an, a flavor of what's changed over the 44 years. I imagine you've expanded and need to find bigger spaces because you're attracting more artists and, and things, but what's what's changed about the Harvest Festival over the years? Well, the um, definitely ar the artists have changed. Um, you know, it started in San Francisco as a real small crafts fair. Um, where people kind of came together and maybe there was even some bartering on, on yeah, you know. Uh -huh. um, 
but now we have over 200 artists and the products have expanded much more. So I think when it first started, um, it was, you know, ceramics and um, textiles. Yeah. yeah. And now, you know, we've got specialty foods, we've got um, accessories, we've got just really unique items, uh, you know, little houses carved from tree stumps. It's like just right. unique things that um, the ideas have expanded so right. much more. So, um, and I love the idea that they're all juried. So there's a selection committee saying, yes, this is of quality and this is what we want to bring into our community. So right. it, there's some relevance there and yeah. um, ensuring the quality of the products too. Um, how do people get tickets? And then Dan, we're gonna move on to you um, and talk about the animals. Yeah, so people can just go to our website to get tickets. Tickets are also available at the door. So um, you can just come on down and, and we'll be ready for you. Okay. Yeah. So we're excited to know that the uh, Peninsula Humane Society and SBCA is going to be part of um, the Harvest Festival and proceeds will be uh, donated to your organization. So tell us what your uh, organization does first in general and then secondly, how will you be involved at the Harvest Festival? Yeah, well, in general, PHS, Peninsula Humane Society, has been around about 65 years now. We sort of started in the 1950s by local citizens who wanted to provide basic sheltering and services for homeless animals. Mm -hmm. um, we've done a lot over the years. In the 70s, we started the first low-cost spay-neuter clinic in the country, which we're still operating today. Uh, we have a mobile clinic as well that goes around and serves our community. Um, we've been operating out of the Coyote Point facility for a number of years with our programs recently. Five years ago, we opened our adoption center on Rollins Road in Burlingame, the right. Tom and Annette Lanto Center for Compassion. So we have our wildlife center there, our adoptions program there, education offerings there. Um, as far as the Harvest Festival, we've been going there for the past five years, doing mobile adoptions on Saturday and Sunday. So this year we'll be there from 10 to 2 Saturday and Sunday with adoptable pets. So uh, we're hoping people come visit us. Sorry I didn't bring a dog today. Uh, to, I know. I thought you were going to bring us <laughs> sort of a sample of who might yeah. we have a sneak preview at. But I imagine who you bring today is probably not going to be still with us at the Humane Society November 11th because I'm sure they are adopted out quite quickly. Absolutely. Um, with true. your organization. Yeah. So our, our volunteers love going and doing the adoption fairs there. Our uh, volunteers also help out with a few of the booths, um, the parcel check, the bag booths. Um, so it's great that we're able to participate in that way and get funds to go help the shelter animals. Now when you bring um, your animals, I'm, I'm assuming they're typically dogs and cats? Yeah, primarily. Okay. Most dogs do better at these type of events, then, <laughs> although occasionally right, sure. we'll bring cats or kittens right. to the right events. Um, but the dogs love going out, um, meeting people, um, finding homes. Um, it's great when people come back to the shelter because they visited an animal at an event like this and it's got the family thinking about adoption. Right. Um, it's a great way to get people into our adoption center. And I know you're the director of the adoption services and customer service for PHS, but um, can someone adopt uh, one of the pets right from the Harvest Festival or do you have an application process and then you bring the pets back to the Peninsula Humane Society and then they um, go from there or can they adopt straight from the Harvest Festival? A lot of the animals will be ready to go. There are okay. certain situations, for example, if there is a dog at home that we want to do an introduction with or maybe okay. the whole family isn't present and there's a small child and we want everyone to meet mm -hmm. and be on board. But for the most part, the animals we're bringing, um, they've already had their shots. They're spayed, neutered, microchipped. Um, so as long as there's not more people in the family to meet, they are ready to go. So they're ready for their next forever mm -hmm. family. Yeah, absolutely. Um, right, from the, uh, right from the Harvest Festival. Well, we've just got about a minute to go, so I want to give you just an opportunity to say whatever you want to do, say with regard to the Peninsula Humane Society and the Harvest Festival, and, and then we're going to say see everybody there on November 11th. Yeah. Well, um, to your viewers, I'd like to encourage people to consider volunteering at Peninsula Humane Society. There's over 40 um, adoption or uh, volunteering opportunities right now, anything from exercising and doing behavior work with the dogs and cats, um, to helping out with special events and mobile adoptions like the Harvest Festival. Um, there really is something for everybody and that process starts at our website. Um, you fill out a little information, you get to come to the shelter, do an orientation and kind of see what we do in action and find out where you fit in and where you can help the animals. And I'm sure it's just a wonderful, fulfilling um, opportunity as well. So Dan, thank you for asking our viewers for that. So hopefully um, we'll see all of you at the Harvest Festival and you might just bring home your favorite forever pet. Thanks so much for joining us and we'll see you next time on Pen Voice.